Hello, and welcome to Dead Cells. We, uh, continue on to strive for a good run that will get us to boss cell number three. La Yesterday's run was actually really good. Um, it just, I did not have the weapons to, uh, take me the full way. So... Uh, we're going to do this because this gets us the shield I want um, to begin with, and we'll take, we'll take those, probably do another survival run. And... All right, I should really talk in these instead of just uh, super focusing on the game. I really thought that guy was going to actually attack and hit me. I'm glad he didn't. The first weapon I see, even if it's not a green weapon, I feel like I want to get um, a um, move over to it. Unless it's a very specific, like one of the cursed weapons I'm probably not going to take. But I'm really not a big fan of uh, these claws. Because what is their gimmick? If you pr inflict crit if you previously used the other claw. And it's just, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of um, of how it wants you to play. I'm, I'm thinking about doing sewers, though. And we have combo room, which just in time because I just got tapped by that guy. Unfortunate. All right, that is not the correct kind of shop I want. It was, um, okay. Surprised I haven't just found another. All right. Every time I've been trying to use that grenade, it does not want to go off. So it is. Something about these weapons does, like, disables the the use items, which is kind of really frustrating to me. I will take explosive crossbow over those. Do I have anything that's... I have dilapidated arboretum. That is incentivized. I'm... I don't honestly want to go to the arboretum, though. I think I'd rather go sewers. Out of all of those choices, I, yeah, I'm going to go sewers. Ooh. Ooh. Both of those are really good. Mmm. All right, not that. But, okay, you know what? We got really far with Death Scythe um, yesterday. I think I'm going to roll it back and try my best with this. This does mean that I'm going to need um huh um I am going to need a good secondary weapon though that Because when I find, um, when I go against the bosses, that's where this weapon just really falls apart, unfortunately. Against boss enemies, it just, it does not like it. But for clearing the normal dungeon, the normal floors, I absolutely think Death Scythe is, uh, one of the upper tier weapons. And launches a grenade, victims, enemies explode, 50% damage if... At 
full health. I will... Plus 50% damage. Could you imagine if there was a weapon that's like, if you are above 50% um, health, um, or if you're at full health, you deal 50% damage, and then um, you have a damage modifier that the more damage you've been taking, um, the the more the more damage that you've taken, the the more damage that you'll do with the weapon. That could synergize with something that is like you now have literally one hit point. You make any mistake and you are just toast. That would be kind of cool. Already at the 30. I think one of the reasons why I like Death Scythe is that there is no, there isn't an obnoxious level of um, wind up to the attacks. Once you do the attack button, it's the attack is going coming straight out, which I I personally enjoy. I think that helps make the weapons feel exceptionally better. There is an item here. I don't know what it's ooh. 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 I think I take the Great Owl. I think I take the Great Owl right now. Oh, okay. The Great Owl just saved my ass right there with the... Or it saved the combo that I've been building. But it's fine because I've completed the combo. So no more reason to need to keep the combo. We're at Ancient Sewers. That's the Dracula's Castle. How do I get to that room there? Did I just not go left enough? I did not go left enough. I don't really want any of those. Money shooter is interesting, but you can just screw yourself on the money so hard. Um, cross is interesting because it's not, it's, it takes a lot of finesse, I think, to really use cross well. Um, you have to, you've got to get your positioning down really well with, um, the cross. And I'm not the, I will be the first one to say, I am far from the best when it comes to, um, doing positioning in this game. Holy crap. Oh, I, I attacked, okay. I attacked and was locked into a uh, recovery animation when that thing hit me. Unfortunate. Oh, I should have... I should have taken that... Because it said, reveals secret walls. That's the ramparts.
Okay, I'm probably I'm thinking about going to the ramparts because if I, I can fit another incentivized um If I can fit an incentivized zone in I could probably do um really nicely with upgrading the uh the next uh Nope, keep that. The next uh, foundry. Man, I've already got a nice little nest egg as it is right now. 80 cells. And we're going to Corrupted Prison, which is an extra area. Yeah, I'm going to skip. Oh, I'm gonna have a hundred cells. I'm good with not taking that owl. Now, bloodthirsty shield, I don't think I want either. I know I definitely, I'm not gonna take any of those. I know I definitely did not want thrown objects because if I get stuck into a boss fight and I just have this, I'm trying to not have that happen. Um, I do want to upgrade that, those guys to that. And we're going to go ahead and take uh, No Mercy to get the early kills. So I've been thinking a lot about the um, about the PS5 Pro, and the more that I think about it, the the more I'm kind of looking forward to it be being a thing. Because after I did the um, after I looked into you know how much it would be to upgrade my PC. Because I, I would be interested, and I am interested genuinely, into upgrading my PC at some point. Um, but then seeing that, you know, the, the best I can do is right now for less money than a PS5 Pro is um, I definitely need to survive. The Tori's Katana. Okay. Um, the best PC upgrade that I could feasibly do is just about, if not the same price as a PlayStation 5 Pro, and it's a sideways upgrade for my PC. I wouldn't get any extra benefit um, for rendering video for content creation. I wouldn't get i get a little bit better performance in PC games, but not, like, a crazy amount, because, you know, the 2080 Ti is still very... It's a, it's a workhorse. So... I am actually falling into a trap of no I'm looking forward and am getting ex actually excited about um, spending $700 on a console that is going to be locked down um, in terms of what you can feasibly do with it it doesn't feel great and I'm I'm probably still going to um I want either of those. The only thing that I could possibly want, in my opinion, would be... Oh, you know what? Yeah, Giant Killer is what I want for the boss. 
Yeah, that makes sense actually to take giant killer. So that's to the ramparts. That's perfect because that we go back to an incentivized zone. We're going to um, keep the cells on us. We're at 160. This is actually turning out really well. So we now have Hattori's Katana. Hold the dash through enemies in front of you, inflicting critical hits. Interesting. We will unlock that at some point. But not this run. Upgrade that guy to S quality, and we're now pretty good. Now all my money is going to be going into um, re-rolling modifiers, which will do that there. Not not amazing modifiers, I'll be honest. Could be better. Let's go ahead and do recovery. Gonna skip the bank. And the odd thing is, um, especially with a lot of modern games, it sounds like the people that have the most modern in systems that are upgraded with relatively the parts that I would be looking at um, getting for some reason I'm getting a lot of reports that a lot of people uh, with these parts did that say YOLO for some reason? Why was YOLO on this? What said YOLO? That was weird. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, people with mo the modern gear, like you know, 40, 40 80s, a uh, fourteen gen Intel, um, even forty nineties. Arguably better PCs than I do, better gaming PCs than what I have, and all newer games that have come out. It seems that they are actually running into a, quite a bit of um, performance issues with unoptimized uh, PC games. Which is a bit unfortunate to hear about, you know, you have people that spent thousands of dollars on, um, on their hardware and it's not the best of the best. It, it's uh, been found lacking for, um, for back of a letter term. And while I do know, and I'm, you know, I think I've already said it, but like getting the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to bring about another, um, what is a good word for it? Another honeymoon phase with the PlayStation um, 5 generation. And by honeymoon phase, I mean when the PS5 first dropped, everyone was super happy with it because we had games on it that were running at um, 60 frames a second fairly solidly by that matter and it made for a very enjoyable gaming experience while the graphics well maybe not natural for or native 4k and maybe not the supreme bells and whistles it was it did still feel like a upgrade over the um what we have what we had in the previous generation um, do I want the Dagger of Profit? I don't think I do. I think I want to keep with Giant Killer to, well, kill bosses because it seems like it's a really good boss killing weapon. And that's War Spear. 
No, I'm going to I'm going to keep giant killer. just had to kill the combo. Alright, let's see if we can roll something exceptional. Not exceptional. Pretty good, but not exceptional. I'm getting lost in my head about, um, about thinking about this game. Still have one, and that's my only exit over there, so I'll probably skip the things below me. Even though it's an incentivized zone, I'm going to skip the ones below me. Not getting a good charm. I will say about one thing about this weapon. It just makes the screen go crazy. Okay, so I have Black Bridge, and I've got 242 cells. 261 cells. It's going to be incredible, this boss fight. I drop it. Okay. Not like he changed. Alright, let's re-roll some modifiers, actually. Increase movement speed. Victim's remains explode. Frozen target. Burning target. I'm just spending all my money on these modifier re-rolls, and it's not working out in, the, in how I want. Crying shame. I do think, however, I maybe not perfect. Maybe I might not be able to do this guy perfectly, but all right, that's normal. On the wrong side. back out. Yeah, far from perfect. The boss killing weapon is maybe not what I want to be doing either.
Maybe I get this one. Yeah, we'll get that one. Nearly 300 cells. 65% chance. Okay, so more than half of the items I find are going to be at least plus plus quality. I'll take that, yeah. Sorry, I just blanked out there. I think I need to make myself a coffee. Yeah, I definitely need to make myself a coffee. I'm, I'm feeling sleepy and tired. See, I've already talked about my feelings on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Um, what else of note happened? talk about Space Marine 2. I still haven't played um, Space Marine 2. It's It seems like a lot of money, but I did hear back from multiple people who I enjoy listening to and my view, my, not necessarily views, but my um, interests in how I view them is uh, in line. So that's nice. Here. I was debating about going for purple. I think you just gotta go survival. I blanked out again. What the hell is wrong with me? Um. All right, so I need to go back there. Right? Yeah, right here. Oh, I really should have drank some coffee before this. I still have to do a Balatro session. I'm definitely going to need coffee for that. Of course, at times, it, it's kind of weird because, like, at times, it, I feel like Balatro keeps me more engaged than a game like Dead Cells, which is crazy to me because Dead Cells, you do you end up doing so much more, but I think with Balatro, because you're not doing as much... Um, like, most of this is just pure instinct from me. I'm not actively thinking of, you know, ooh, I'm going to do this combo, then I'm going to do that combo. No. Majority of this is just me reacting to what is in front of me. And that, that's that's this type of game. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but in Balatro, you end up having to think about a ton of things and what you're doing. There's not much zoning out that happens. 
And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that I've never zoned out while playing Balotor. I mean, you can definitely find yourself in a trance with that. Where the fuck? It's right below me. I was like, where the fuck is this key room? It's right here. zoning out again. God dang it. Alright. Alright. My apologies. My biggest apologies on that one. That is not not acceptable. Let me sit up. Oh. Okay. I was slouched in the chair. Now I'm sitting up. Hopefully... Hopefully, this is better. Um, let's go ahead and try... Let's see what it looks like at the very least. But... Giant Killer does 15k. Giant Killer now does 17k. I can't get rid of Giant Killer. Yeah, I, I've got to stay with Giant Killer. Oh, he stuns. That one stuns. I don't think I take it. Yeah, I think I just go this path. So, someone did let me know about the bells and what they do, and it's it's all for a special blueprint that, um, that's what you get by ringing the bells, and they have to be done in a specific order. If I was going to try and 100% this game, um, that might be fun to do. I don't really have an interest in doing that, though. Um, my main interest is just to play this to the best of my ability until the end of the season. can't believe I did that. And the end of the season, like, we're halfway through the season. Like, um, this is in the 60s. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I never, I haven't looked at the list of games that people have been submitting for what they want in season three. Um, last I looked, there were like 14 entries, and some of them were interesting. Some of them were more worrying than others. Um, I'm not going to say who, and it's all anonymous and private. I'm not going to put anyone on blast, but the, the person who posted that game, yeah, um, I don't think I can put that on YouTube. <laughs> Um, I've, I've only seen one guy, and I, and granted, I haven't been looking for this, um, for this either, but I've only seen one creator ever post content about it, and it's kind of been a joke in the, in two other creators I 
follow where it's like, oh yeah, I'll play that game when um, this very specific challenge with their community takes place, which is like one in a million chance. So, to the person that suggested I play through Orc Massage, thank you. Um, I don't I think I have to take that off the list, though. Because <laughs> could you ima could you imagine we get to the end of this season, we do the wheel of um, names, we roll through. I'm hoping there's at least as many um, options as uh, everyone else. And remember, if you put a game in. You don't just get one. You can put in um, games as many times as you want. You can vote as many times as you want. I'm not putting any restrictions on th this uh, the poll. I think I now have to have a rule that if you can't stream the game on Twitch or post to uh, YouTube without heavy edits um i don't think i can really take it as a real suggestion because i i've only ever seen markiplier do stuff with orc massage on youtube and that was him primarily using that he his weight as a larger channel and with the help of um Lexi and his wonderful editor um censoring out just so much censoring so much of that game where I don't think you could see 90% of it um for good reasons For it to be a daily episode, I can't, I don't think that I could uh, feasibly allow Orc Massage to be on there because that would require so much editing and that kind of defeats the purpose of how I want to do daily episodes. which is me recording the content and then doing the most minimal amount of edits of where it's it's basically hey I rec I get the content recorded I then throw that file into uh, Vegas um, and then I um slap my outro into it and oh my god I'm getting my ass handed to me but yeah I I can't accept orc massage as the game that as a possible game because there's no I don't even think I want it on the list. <laughs> I'll say that. I don't think I even want Orc Massage to be on that list of games on the chance that it does actually get rolled. Because then what would I do? I would have to say, hey, thanks for this. No, though. I would just say no. So, because I would say no, I think I'm just going to say no right now. No, I will not be playing Orc Massage on for season three. Apologies to the person, you know who you are, um, that suggested Orc Massage. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that game. I refuse. I'm refusing to do that game. I am... I am refusing to accept that as a honest submission. Because I think you knew what you were doing 
was being a little funny as a joke, right? You had to know that was you were being a joke. Bitch. 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 got a very small chance to beat Hand of the King. I don't think I've got a very good chance. I've got a very small chance. I feel like I do have a chance, but I have a very small chance at defeating Hand of the King. But if I pull it off, Hell, if I pull it off, that's going to be boss cell number three. Mm. I've got to get to the hand of the king first, though. I guess I could have gone to the derelict distillery. That would be a faster route technically than having to do high peak castle um oh this would actually be really good to go against the hand all right you know what i i've got to trade out electrodynamics for that yeah It hurts to get rid of electrodynamics because I really like electrodynamics. I think it's actually a really nice um, use item because it just it takes care of so many um, things around you that you don't have to worry about the little the little things you don't have to worry about. But fuck. Okay. I think Death Scythe is just not really good for this late game. Like, just as a base weapon. Shit. Okay. Oh my god. I, I've got to learn that when that guy jumps in the air, I've just got to get away from him. Because my rolling does not stop him at all. Okay, we have red key. get them to freeze I think I'm actually doing an okay chance against them but I've got to have them freeze what is that there wasn't an, there's an item down there's mushroom boy do I think that mushroom boy is a better item or better companion than the owl. 
Alright, I need to get away from that guy. There's my door. I'm just going to go to the door because I, I don't care about slaying enemies. I don't care about combos at all. I just want to get through. Fuck! I was just stunned. I was super stunned. I was in a stun state for so goddamn long. Shit. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Have fun. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Shit!